Okay, let's get started. And first thing first, uh, we need an Xcode 12 in order to work for this course. And the current Xcode 12, which I'm shooting the videos on Friday, 26 June, the first beta version is out and I have already downloaded it here. But if you haven't, I'm going to show you how to get it. Since the current available version for Xcode 12 is beta only, it's not available on App Store and you need to have an Apple developer account in order to get the Xcode. You don't need the license, the paid account. Um, a standard Apple developer account will give you the access to downloads. So if you don't have the beta version, just open your browser. I'm using uh, Chrome here. Navigate to developer.apple.com. Once you log in, um, on the left side, you can see a download section. Just click on that one. And this will take you to download section of uh, Apple. And here you have two options, operating systems. You can test the beta version of Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, watch OS, etc. I do not recommend to download and install them on your main machine if you don't have a backup one because these are early betas and they are just meant for developers to test the software and these are not really working properly. So you can even damage your computer. What, what we are interested in is the applications. So switch on to the applications and here you can see different applications you can download. But what we are interested in is this Xcode beta, which is the currently the beta one, the first beta. And there is this Xcode 12 for Mac OS Universal Apps beta. We don't want this, we want just a simple beta. Just click on download, it's around nine gigabytes. It will take some time to download depending your internet speed. But once you have downloaded it, you can install which is just extracting it and putting it on your desktop or on your applications folder. And the first time you open the Xcode, it will ask you to install some extra uh, files. And one very important thing is you can run the beta version of Xcode. You can see it's beta 12.0 version. And you can have the normal Xcode version, which is the current version available on App Store. I suggest you keep both of them because um, this is just a beta, we're going to use it to develop our application. But without the normal version, you can't even upload your applications to App Store. So if you want, you can keep both of them, or if you want to have the beta only, it's up to you. But I suggest to keep both versions of Xcode until the uh, Xcode 12 is officially released, not the beta, which is sometime in October, I think. So once you have that, you can get rid of the old version. All right, so download it and in our next lecture, we are going to start uh, creating our application.